Well, good morning everyone. It's uh, Tuesday, the 1st of February. John Ray has come and gone. Um, of course, it was a long month, the weather hasn't been too good. Don't know what it's like today, but um, I'm sure that we look forward to the spring. And there are signs of the spring all around us, and we are very, very grateful for that. Um, <laughs> uh, I thought I'd share with you, um, Yvonne and I, my wife and I, were having a sort of discussion in the kitchen sometime through last week. And our eight-year-old um, grandson was in the other room watching television. Thomas was sitting there quite contented. And Yvonne and I were just having a, a chat about things and uh, not arguing, but having a different point of view. It was fine, no problem at all. Well, I came back into the room and Tom looked at me and he said, uh, Dave, he calls me Dave, by the way. Dave, uh, can I have a word with you? I said, yes, Tom, what's the matter? And then he looked directly in my eyes and said, Dave, you must learn to do better. Well, I thought, what can I make of that? Mungi, Gran, can do no wrong, of course. I know what side he was on. Anyway, that's another matter. It, it made me think, from a child of that age, it was incredible, really. And it, I felt I was in the headmaster study being told off, you know. But, of course, it was great. It was lovely. We laughed about it afterwards. And uh, <laughs> there were, that's Tom for you. It made me think of what Paul says in the first letter to the Corinthians, chapter 13. It's a very, very well-known passage of scripture, and I've read it so many times, especially in weddings, when I speak the languages of men and of angels and not love, I am a sounding gong or a clanging cymbal. We're all, we're all very familiar with that. And it says, love never fails. And that's something very important. But then Paul goes on to say, when I was a child, I taught like a child, I thought like a child, I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. There's a sense there that Paul knew at one time he was like a child. He was childish, possibly. He was immature in his faith. But now that he had grown in faith, he put those childish ways behind him. I think it's so important for us in the Christian church to be childlike rather than childish. Sometimes we can find that we have strong attitudes. We all have our different emphases on different things. And sometimes we feel we want our own way. Well, no. In the spirit of the church, we must give in to each other in love, Paul says, and that's very, very important. The disciples grew in faith. They were with Jesus, they shared with him, and they learned more about him along the way. Their faith, in many ways, was quite immature. They didn't fully understand. The wedding feast of Cana in Galilee, where Jesus turned the water into wine, you remember, they saw that first miracle, and they were astounded. Simon Peter came to Caesarea Philippi towards the end of Jesus' ministry and he said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. They had come to know, they had matured in faith. They had come to know him. And he is our pattern and our guide, of course. We as Christians grow in faith and knowledge of him. We must remember that at one time we were far away. We didn't understand everything. Perhaps our attitudes are not as they ought to be. But when we spend time with Jesus, we grow to be more like him. Seeking every day to do his will and to follow in the ways of truth and righteousness. Being a source of help and comfort to those in the world out there. And that's what Paul is saying here. And of course he says at the end there are three things that last forever. Faith, hope and love and the greatest of these is love. I pray that we will grow in faith. We will spend time with Jesus. We will read his word. We will know that when we come into his presence, he speaks to us words of tenderness, compassion, and love. He understands us, even when we're childish and rebelliousness. Like the lost sheep who goes astray, he comes and he searches for us. He is the one. He is our friend. He understands and he knows us. And then, as Paul says, well, I was once a child. I talked like a child. I thought like a child. I reasoned like a child. When I became a man, I put childish ways behind me. Dear friends, let's remember the friendship and love of Jesus today. I know that he loves us and he invites us to grow in faith with him day by day. Let us pray. Father, teach us your ways, we pray that we might always follow the way that you have ordained for us. In this world of which we are a part, help us to love each other and to learn from each other. Help us to give in to each other in love, Lord, and to, to remember that the promise is that you will, in the end, make all things perfect. Thank you for the church to which we belong, the family of faith of which we are a part. Help us to love each other there, not seeking our own way, 
for seeking the good of all. Grant our Heavenly Father that we might look to Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith. Be with us today, Lord, whatever this day holds for us. May we know that you are with us each step of the way. Grant us peace in the midst of this world in which we're living. And Lord, we do pray for peace. We pray for the situation in Russia and Ukraine this morning. Whatever the situation is now, we pray that the peacemakers will see a way through and that there will be a willingness to give in to each other and to seek the good of all. Be with those who are sick and those who are confined by illness or infirmity. Those who are still seriously affected because of this pandemic, those who are bereaved and those who perhaps stand in great sorrow and sadness today because they've lost someone they have loved. Those we know, Lord, and those we do not know. We pray, Lord, that your grace and love will sustain us for the rest of this day. Keep us by your grace and may we grow in faith and knowledge of you. Father, we bless your name and we give you the honour, the glory and the praise. In Jesus' name. Amen. Well, thank you, dear friends. Good to share this short time with you. I pray you know God's blessing and peace to each new day.